Hi, I'm Valdemar Belmont from Dreamlight and I'll be your host in this short Movie Maker video covering the uh, advanced features. So I'm gonna start off by loading one of the scenes, Egyptian Temple, and I load V4. Actually, I have one, sorry, I have one pre made scene with a V4 and some basic outfits and candy hair. And there is our model. The first thing I want to mention is that let's select a different node here. The first thing you want to know is that you have complete 360 degree rotation freedom at every camera node you select. So you're not forced to just aim at V4 or any character you have in the scene. You can actually um, point the camera in any direction and take advantage of the pre-rendered uh, panoramic backgrounds. So let me show you how this would work in a real animation. So let's add some movement to our figure. Something like something like this, and just I'm using the animate built in feature of Dust Studio to add a simple motion. Of course, I have bought the belly dance any blocks. So with our V4 moving, we can actually change to 25 frames per second. We'll start off by having the camera aiming at this structure over here. And you see I can zoom in out and even roll the camera here and select a nice starting view for our animation right here. Add a key. Now can you, I can use any slider, I can use the animate slider or I can use the built-in Dash Studio timeline slider to um, advance on the timeline. And somewhere around, let's say, 90, I want to target Our dancer somewhere around here, and I'm just adding a key. And now, as I move the timeline, the camera is starting off by framing this structure here, and then it's moving towards V4 and zooming in just like that. Great! So, I can uh, select the last keyframe. Then I want to move to the frame after that and uh, can select a different node, for instance this one. And here I like to zoom in a lot. And actually when I'm zooming this much, I can turn on the built-in DOF effect, depth of field, just like that. And I can just uh, continue zooming in on the hands like that. And I can add a key. And as I move the timeline, I can just let the camera follow the hands. And here's a small trick when when you add small variations to the camera, like zoom in, slight like rotation. Just let it move slightly over time. You will actually give the camera a handheld feeling, which makes it uh, less static. So, reframe, add small rotation, maybe some means slightly. That way, the camera will feel more fluid and less, you know. 3D static. And I can still aim 
the hands, small rotation, hand key. And here I like to move the camera, zoom out. Somewhere around here, and the key. Scroll to the last frame. So this is the way I build an animation using Movie Maker. I follow the figure and I just add small variations to the camera. Small movements, small zoom ins and outs, small rotations, just so that it doesn't feel so static. And now as I move the timeline, you see the camera is actually performing small, small, small movements which make it look more handheld. So, from the start, we are using, a, we are framing the structure, building, going to V4, zooming in, and then following the hands, and finishing off framing V4. So that's for the advanced camera movements. And in the next part, we'll be covering the Shadow Catcher plane and how we can add multiple characters and actually take advantage of a larger space of each of the backgrounds. So thank you for viewing and see you in the next video.